G'day, I'm Russell, and this is my 2017 VF SV6 wagon. I bought this car about three years ago, just at the sort of start of the COVID peak prices. Um, and I'd had it for about a year in its stock form. And um, I was doing a business where I was doing wrap and tinting. So I wrapped the car and had it looking pretty schmick. Uh, approximately sort of eight months after I'd done that, I had um, an accident during the middle of the night coming over a hill, hit a truck tire and completely destroyed my front bar, headlights, quarter panels and everything went out the back and took my rear bar with it. So um, that was the beginning of a 14 month process of getting it back on the road. It's been fun for sure, um, but I've done a lot of things that I never thought I could do myself. Um, and using Raptor made it a whole lot easier. Uh, it went through crash repair. Uh, unfortunately, when I got it back, all my wrap was totaled and um, there were some issues with the vehicle itself. So I had to go back to insurance, had to go to another crash repair, um, basically get all the work done again, just to get back a straight car, clean panels and working electronics. And that was about the point the inspiration hit me that I wanted to do something different with the car. I wanted to make it stand out from the crowd. An unusual car, but that's where it came from. Everything that I'd seen with the four wheel drives, I'm like, you know, someone needs to do this to a passenger car. So here she is. Um, I made some custom grills, um, taught myself how to plastic weld and cut out all the um, fitted grills that came standard and um, I got some perforated mesh from a company in Melbourne and then custom cut and welded in those so they're nice and firm. Um, added the light bar in there with some custom made brackets and got that all hooked up. Um, went to my lights, uh, so these are just stock standard VF headlights but I've wrapped them in a holographic wrap so all the lights including the light bar have that wrap on them. And um, that was just, you know, uh, to go with the theme. Um, and again, something different and unusual. The tires and wheels are um, aftermarket. So those are 19 inch Hustlers. Had them fitted along with um, some new suspension and got her lowered. Um, I've got the same holographic film as just a detail over the top of the machine metal part and looks great in the sun, get the rainbow effect happening. Um, same sort of thing on the indicator lights here. Um, one of the other little touches I'm proud of is on all my um, door handle buttons done, <laughs> are a bit tricky to do and um, a good learning process because again, sort of working with Chrome is a bit tricky, but got those done. She's been lowered front and back. Um, I think it was triple uh, SL, but can't quite remember. Um, and then yeah, my rear lights. So these are a combination film. Um, this one is the yellow as on the headlights, but then I've got a smoked version of that same uh, film. And again, the, all the etchings are holographic, so uh, when lights hit them, they, they stand out really good. I got this spoiler from a company up in Queensland, and um, it's not a commonly used one. I think uh, I know of maybe four other people in Australia who've, who've actually fitted it to their wagon. Um, it was carbon fibre. Uh, gave it a sand back in, of course, wrapped the coat in it because, you know, why not? Um, seeing as this is actually a car I use for pretty much everything and it's quite often got a whole ton of stuff in the back, um, the plastics that were originally in were pretty hammered, so I cleaned them up and then hit them with the Raptor coating and they've proved to be absolutely bulletproof, basically. Um, so I did all in these parts and the bottom seals of the door and pretty much anywhere where there was possible contact as I'm sliding boxes in and out. And yeah, it, um, it actually came up way better than I sort of thought it would be that it was plastic, but don't regret it for a minute. And uh, if I had the chance again, I'd literally spray the entire inside of the car. Um, it's just so much easier to deal with than plastic sort of paint. Uh, so. When I decided to get a little bit uh, trigger happy with the Raptor, I um, decided to get in and do a lot of the plastics that mainly see a lot of heavy foot traffic. So all my sills were done. Um, these were done in the yellow. So these were the uh, metal strips that were the decorative stuff. All my skirts and inner skirts were done. And I actually pulled all the door rubbers off and I've sprayed right in under everything to get a nice even looking coat and um, it's again it's helped to keep everything clean and tidy and it makes a huge difference 
Um, I also did my upper plastics and um, even my drop down mirrors and my centre console up the top stuff was done. And um, proud of this one is the Raptor coating that I used the Tinderville Raptor coating on here and um, they came out a treat. Uh, I would love to do the rest of my little chrome accents but that's a, a time consuming process and I'm probably going to get some second hand ones and um, play around with them in the shed. So the process of turning the car into this, um, initially I had to strip all the damaged wrap off and when I got back to the paint there was a few stone chips on the bonnet and there was a few marks and scratches and slight dents. So um, doors came off, uh, everything sort of came to pieces and got spread out all over the shed and um, I started sanding all the insides of the doors and all the door seals and stuff and in the process of that I had to take a lot of the plastic trims out. I was looking at them, I'm going, I'm going to do these ones as well. So I've actually ended up raptor coating not just the outside, but a fair bit of the inside. Once I'd sanded everything back, there were a few spots where I'd gone through to bare metal. So um, I got some Raptor Acid Etch Primer and primed the bits I needed to and got everything cleaned up. And I did all my plastics, so my front and rear bars. Got a good coating of Raptor's Adhesive Promoter. So I thinned it out um, at a 15% rate and then used a HPLV gun um, and a decent air compressor. And yeah, it worked out really, really well. Um, I've seen some people sort of go up to 20%, um, but I wanted to keep a little bit of that structural rigidity to, to keep that indestructibleness. I didn't want to go too smooth. Um, and personally, I think it's just come out mint. I started with some light dust coat to sort of get an idea. And once I had everything dialed in, I just went and sprayed. Um, I started with all my edges, corners, and worked my way through that way till I had the flat panels left. Um, the roads where I drive, I'm constantly behind heavy vehicles, a lot of trucks and cars, and we've got pretty bad roads out here. So stone chips were so common, it wasn't funny, and the car was just getting trashed. Raptor solved that problem, so even at the slightly thinner coating, um, I've had this on for six months now, and no issues whatsoever. It doesn't matter what lands on it, I just hit it with a hose and Bob's your uncle. Um, in the daytime, she gets a bit of a sparkle when you've got the sun out. Nighttime, she just disappears into the black, and it's awesome. It's everything I could, could have wanted. So Raptor turned out to be the perfect product to do everything I wanted. Um, and with its versatility of being able to use some thinners and, and get a different coat, you can actually, you know, I think there's, there's nothing you can't achieve. Um, the Tintable Raptor was a godsend. Um, so 950 Porsche Yellow Pigment and um, off I went. It was easy to mix and because the uh, Tintable comes in, its base color is white, I was able to very easily see what my end product was going to look like while I was mixing the paint. Made life so much easier. And um, yeah, it basically dried and it sprayed on as the color was. So once I had the color set, I knew exactly what I was going to get. Um, I've got some plans in the future. Once I get my hands on some Raptor high heat paint, um, I want to black out my exhausts, um, clean up my tow bar and stuff like that. And um, also I want to do the brake calipers, um, debating whether I go black, because um, I do like sort of the blackout look on the whole car, but it's been an interesting sort of two years to get to this point and get her done. I do have plans to do some other things, but uh, as everyone knows, you've got to see how far the wallet stretches and the other half's patience, of course. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. This has been my 2017 SV6 and it's trip from being bog stock standard to the most unusual car you've ever seen.